All right, we're working on a little Tecumseh generator here again. Uh, last video got a lot of good comments, a lot of not so good comments, but uh, that comes with the territory, right? All right, what I'm going to do, I'm, for you guys that want to see it run, it's not, I'm not going to get it running. I'm not going to try to start this thing in this video. I'm not even worried about starting it. I, I know if I want to start, I can have it run in five minutes. Uh, what I like to do is uh, get things so when they do run, they, they keep running. So uh, I'm going to do them. Um, this thing needs a good cleaning. So I'm going to take the flywheel back off. That way I can get other stuff under there. And, uh, we'll show you some other stuff that I forgot to mention last time. And then I was going to take the carburetor off, but I think I'm just going to take the bowl off and look at it because... From from the year this is and everything and how long it looks like it's been sitting, it it probably predated the ethanol. The ethanol fuel now is what uh, really tears these little aluminum carburetors up. And chances are, if there is bad gas in there, it's going to be old gas and it's uh, just going to be varnished up. Or it may not be, but if we take that ball off, we'll, we'll be able to see. And then, uh, got to check the air filter. I never looked in there. That uh, and answers our question. There is no air filter. Okay. And I'm, I'm not sure if I have one I'm laying around or not. Probably not. I probably have the bigger one. But anyway, I think when I drain the oil, even though the oil, the oil looks pretty good. Somebody left a comment. I don't remember who it was, but uh, they said they cringe when I take this off with all that dirt and dirt and grime around there. You know what I gotta say to that? If you can't take this filler plug out without knocking all that shit off of there, then you gotta stay away from small engines because uh, that's so packed on there. That ain't going anywhere. But anyway, you can see it's the wheel's brown and it looks good. But uh, we're gonna change it anyway. So we're gonna do that, change the wheel. And like I said, I'm gonna take this off and. Uh, Look at that. And even the the flywheel, I think I'm just going to soak that in some gasoline so it uh, cleans off easier. And then the rest of it, take it outside and blow it off and then brush it down with gasoline to uh, to clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to throw you in the tripod and then we'll, uh, we'll just do a little more talking and hanging out. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah, another comment we had was from my buddy Musty. Uh, he brought up something interesting and it's funny because I was... I was thinking along the same lines of him. He said that uh, check the housing to see that it ain't bent. You know, because a lot of people use these as step stools, you know, and they just stand on them. You know, and I did check it. You know, everything everything's perfectly flat and everything. And like I say, he was thinking somebody stepped on it and, and twisted or bent the, the sheet metal. But I was thinking, you know, it's a 60 pound engine with a handle, and the handle's attached to the, this uh, sheet metal. Actually, you know, this, this is a pretty substantial, you know, that's just how they made things, but uh, I'm thinking, you know, check the shroud, see if it's bent, because, you know, you, you're picking up and carrying a 60-pound a uh, engine all the time. But uh, this checks out good. This, uh, everything, everything is perfectly flat and squares the day it was left the factory. And uh, I think it's just, just from sitting, you know, you got a little bit of moisture in there, and this was tight, and then that, just from sitting, uh, Got tight. So what I'm gonna do with this? I'm just gonna spray this down. I'm gonna pull it out, and oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you guys. Uh, I'm gonna pull this out so that I don't get oil all over the rope, and spray it with some uh, arrow coil, and then uh, maybe pull it in and out and, and work it loose. But uh, the housing, the housing is perfectly square and straight, so we can uh, eliminate that. Okay, I'm going to spray some uh, arrow coil down here into the into the dog. I like this stuff, and then down around this bolt and back in here, and then I think I'm even going to go down here because it might be might be touching the shroud, but I'm not sure. I doubt it is. But anyway, and then I'm just going to uh, work it back a little bit. Uh, the quiet already 
Oh, oh, watch your foot. Man, they're right on my toe. All right, so just that little bit. Got this working pretty good, so I'm gonna work this a little bit and then uh, wipe it down and then uh, squirt some oil in there. Okay, yeah, so if you look at it, that little dog, look at it real close. Hold on, the little dog comes out, it goes right back in, so. Okay, yeah, just from sitting, you know, that kind of stuff happens. All right, let me take that flywheel off. Okay, this shouldn't be too tight because I didn't really tighten it. I knew I was we go. I knew I was gonna take it off again. Okay. A couple guys had uh, issues with the way I uh, took the flywheel off. They're saying that these uh, holes here have threads in them, and uh, you should use the puller, but uh, they're not threaded. I'm sure they're designed to thread, but uh, they're not very deep. So you would need a, a a flat bottom tap, and then you also need this this special thing unless you wanted to spend the time and make it, you know, to make a puller and pull it off. But uh, I've never had any problem, you know, taking them off with a hammer and uh, shocking them off. And uh, I've done it a long a lot of times, you know, hundreds of times, and I've seen it done a hundred times. And I'm sure if you wanted to break that that stud off, you could. Because it's only about a 7 16 uh, bolt. But, uh, you know, I just, uh, you know, and I don't even think these are tapped. You probably probably put self tapping screws in there or something. But, uh, there we go. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that yet. But uh, they're, not, they're not through bolts, they're not threaded. And, uh, you know, sometimes you overthink things, you know. Let's take this off. Another thing uh, a couple people mentioned was in here. You have a little felt uh, thing that rubs alongside here. And I did oil it, but I should have showed you. And actually what I did was, uh, can you see it? This whole thing here. I actually took it out and straightened it and cleaned it. So this sword is going to be a reenactment here. Just there's only a little tiny bit that uh, rubs on that and what it does is just lubricates this piece of plastic you know for that lobe but anyway clean that off a little bit and you don't need any kind of special oil just uh, this 3 and one will be fine you know You don't want too much because then it gets all slopped up and it get all over your points. So, it'll soak in there. What I also did was straighten it a little bit because of the bent and I'll just give it a little bit more pressure on the, on the lobe here. So there you go. Let's see if I can turn that. I can't turn that on my fingers. But anyway, that just keeps... Uh, that lubricated. I want to thank them guys there that brought it up. They wanted to make sure I did it. I did, but uh, I, I didn't show you guys. Alright, what are we going to do next? Alright, I don't want to take the head off because it it's, looks like it's sealed pretty good. And I know I don't have another gasket. And that, one, that one you probably reused, but uh, I'm going to take the plug out and look in there. That way also it'll also be able to check the plug. Oh, there you go. I'll check the plug. And we can also check and look and see here what the valves look like and the, the cylinder. Okay. A little carbon on there, but uh, it's gray. There's not a wheel nut, so that's uh, that's good. We'll clean that and reuse it. I don't think that would be an, an original plug because it's a a J17 LM. LM stands for lawnmower. I thought earlier in this I used to use the CJ8s and stuff like that, but uh, I could be wrong. Somebody will tell me. Somebody let me know. Alright, let me shut this down and uh, we'll look inside the cylinder. Alright, got the plug out and you see that uh, valve there. I think it might be the exhaust valve. Yeah, I think it's the exhaust valve. You know, it's got uh, service rust on it, but uh, it's, you see where it's open and closing fine. There is a little bit of carbon in there, but uh, I'm not worried about it. I'm not going to take it apart. 
And I don't know if I can bend down far enough for you to see, but I could actually see the, the intake valve up there. So anyway, all I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to spray some of this down. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to turn the piston until it's all the way down. You can't really see that from where you're at, but uh, over here, there you go. You could see the piston coming up and down. And I'm going to I'm going to just spray some uh, some of this silicone spray, any any oil, just to make sure there's oil over the cylinders, and then I'll call that good. All right, I got the piston down. Like I say, I'm just uh, spraying in there. A lot of you guys are saying I should take the head off and everything, you know, I mean, uh, that's fine if, if you got an engine and you want to take the head off and clean the piston and all carbon, that's fine. But uh, I'm not into that right now. I'm just working on a dirty old engine here. We're just going to get it going and bring it up and back to shows. People are just going to look at it. All right. That should be good enough for me. All right, let's, uh, let's drain the oil here. Oh boy. I wish I got a bigger wrench. Okay. Looks a little black, but not bad. I'm going to tilt it up. Put a piece of wood under uh, the back feet here. Help it drain out a little bit. Alright. While that's draining, I'll move you guys over here and we'll uh, take the car bowl off and take a look in there. We'll take this and put this in a parts bucket over here. We don't want to lose that. Alright. Okay. Let's take this uh, bowl off together. And there's a little bit of good news here. This, this uh, bowl actually has a drain on it with a spring and a rubber rubber gasket. So, well, look at that. It didn't take anything. All right. Broke loose easy, but it's uh, pretty tight. Right. And it's a seven sixteenths uh, screw down or seven sixteenths bolt down here that holds a jet. Should loosen up here in a second. I don't mean to waste your time watching me unscrew this, but that's what we do. Oh man. Alright, here we go, it's coming. Oh there we go. Huh. All right. Okay. Look, look in there. See that? The gasket just imploded. So I'm going to have to get a gasket kit for it anyway. Yeah, the, the gasket was just uh, too brittle. See it all on the side here? It's just, just breaking away. And also there's an O-ring. Here's the the little drain I was telling you about down here and on top of that is an o-ring and the o-ring just uh, busted apart completely here you go here you go can you see that that's the o-ring so that's just all uh, hardened up and deteriorated so might be worth it just to get another it's a good shape there's absolutely no varnish at all in there I'm wondering now whether to take the carburetor apart or not. Hmm, I probably should. Alright, I think I will. Alright, I don't know how long this video is, but uh, maybe the next one we'll. Uh, I'm gonna order a carb kit for this. I don't think I have one for this small of a carburetor. I got one for the five cylinders, but uh, we'll take a look, and if I got one, then we'll take it apart, and if not, we'll order one. So, uh, yeah, good thing we took it apart. Who would have thought? Alright, I don't know how long this video is, but uh, I appreciate you guys hanging with me. Even though uh, we didn't get much done, at least we just uh, had a chance to hang out a little. Alright, enough of this.